To write the name for CuCO3, the first thing we need to recognize is that we have this polyatomic ion here. This is called the carbonate ion. And the carbonate ion, it's bonded to this transition metal, copper. So we'll first write the name for Cu. That's copper. And then we're going to write the name for the polyatomic ion. This is one you really should just have memorized. The whole thing, the whole carbonate ion has a 2 minus charge, so you need to memorize that. And we're just going to write lowercase c for carbonate. So far we have copper carbonate. We said copper is a transition metal. So to figure out the charge on copper, because it's a transition metal, we have to look at what it's bonded to. We said the carbonate is 2 minus. Copper has to be 2 plus for these numbers to add up to zero, to give a net charge of zero. So to show that the copper here is 2 plus, we're going to put a Roman numeral 2 between the copper and the carbonate. So the name for CuCO3 is copper 2 carbonate. Note that this is an ionic compound. We have a metal, and then we have these nonmetals here in the carbonate ion, the polyatomic ion. Metal and those nonmetals, that makes it ionic, so we call this copper 2 carbonate. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.